Hi my friends, my name is Ryan Freeman. Welcome to another movie review. Another film by Oshima, just a year later, 1978, Empire of Passion. This is similar, if you have not watched the previous movie review, go ahead and watch that one first, then come back to get my thoughts so I can build off of those. Um, Empire of Passion, directed by Oshima, is another raw avant-garde movie, something you have not seen in Hollywood. Of course, you do have to watch these movies with English subtitles, but you get the authenticity of sort of another way of thinking, hearing the language of the Japanese actors. So this takes place towards the end of the 1900s. So it's in rural Japan, in a small village. All of the neighbors know each other. I'm not gonna spoil the story. Um, and there's a very dutiful wife. She's got a hardworking husband. She's got a daughter uh, who's uh, faithful and to her parents. She's got a little boy who definitely needs the care of her mother. And she is a prized gem in the community. But there's, there's a uh, ne'er-do-well, a um, misfit, poor, a uh, vagabond type of character who's also handsome and charming and a little aggressive and sort of epitomizes sort of the raw passion of the male spirit that just goes out and seizes what he likes, who follows his sort of male passionate inclinations. And something develops between him and this dutiful, faithful wife that leads to a death that leads to a haunting, a ghost haunting, which, you know, I'm not really one for supernatural movies. I'm not really one who's crazy about ghosts. I think it's an interesting topic, don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I just, I'm not interested in ghost movies. But this movie did the ghost, the haunting, so well and so interesting and so, not in this hor horrific, a uh, Hollywood way, um, not in a very, not in a way that's overly scary. Um, it's frightening, and there was a couple points where I did get goosebumps, but in a very psychological way, in a very, um, in a way that I I can relate to, and in a way, and in a way, the probably the most realistic vision of I, how I could imagine ghosts actually interacting. Um, in the lives of the people who did them wrong or uh, sinned against them and didn't give them a proper burial. This is a fantastic movie, Empire of Passion. There is some hot, steamy sex scenes uh, that is raw, that is not the norm, not what you're normally going to be used to. It's not in your face too much. Um, there is a little nudity. Um, there's violence uh, that is, is, there's a couple scenes. It's not gory and horrific, but it is tough to watch because the director, Oshima, bring, brings a realism, not saying that every aspect of the movie is real, but the feeling, the psychological feeling that you would get if you were in the presence of a murder, if you were in the presence of a rape, if you were in the presence of revenge, he brings that feeling alive. So there are some aspects of the movie that might be unrealistic from a technical point of view. Like there's a point where she's, she's uh, one of the characters is trying to burn her house down. And I don't know if any firefighters would agree that um, that, that was a realistic instance. But the psychological, the emotional depth, Empire of Passion. And if you watch my previous movie review and I talked about just how involved these sex scenes make you feel, I think what Oshima has done very well in both of these films, uh, in the realm of the senses and this movie that we're talking about, Empire of Passion, is these feelings are real. You it bring you know we watch films, we listen to music, we consume books and other artistic uh, pieces and content to bring us that feeling, to 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 help us remember what it's like to feel in that moment because we all do have these strong emotions that connect us to reality and i think oshima does a fantastic job now there may be some feelings that you wish you you you're not you don't want to connect with you know anger and and disgust and and i found myself going through a roller coaster of emotions while watching it it's not going to be for everyone i would not recommend this to my hardcore christian parents uh, or my grandmother. Um, but if you are interested in exploring sort of the realms of passion and the soul, you know, while watching a movie, 
Um, I think you will find Empire of Passion to be a fascinating movie if you're interested in ghosts and perhaps another slant on ghosts. Empire of Passion will 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 uh, give you some food for thought. And um, I found myself uh, I didn't really want to watch it because I'm not very into period pieces, and so this takes place, you know, in a countryside. They're wearing sort of you know old garments from you know a century and a half ago. Uh, but very quickly, from from the beauty of the film, from the writing, from sort of the iconic, the dutiful husband, the hardworking man, and the dutiful wife, and sort of the moral disintegration of some of the characters as this realm of, of sort of uh, hardcore passion gets infused into this sort of orderly and happy, tranquil setting, um, and the characters... This is very interesting and made me think about times of my life. And I think times of my life where similar things have happened, you know, where everything was just nice and settled, but then passion struck. And suddenly I was in a storm. And although things that once felt like solid rock were no longer with me, I was enveloped in a torrent of ecstasy and energy. Um, you know, just as a little side note, uh, you know, the Greeks uh, of antiquity who were noted for their order, you know, their beautiful columns on their architecture, their ratios of, of how they uh, saw the world and the universe and formed their artistic endeavors and their philosophy, order, 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 but they also had outlets for passion. And so whether they were worshiping the great god Pan in the forest in all night orgies, or they were on the hilltops in Dionysian uh, sort of uh, sort of feasts and reveling and tearing goats apart and, and doing wild things, the main ads, um, all orderly people need an outlet for their passions because we're not just order. We're not just the irrational beings. We've got this strong, maybe to some people it seems irrational, but there's there's a call of our blood, a call of our of our very essence of our nature that demands outlet. And so sometimes watching these films helps you to um, connect with that part and remember those times in your life where perhaps you went down a similar way or you know of other people so i i recommend i don't recommend <laughs> i don't recommend necessarily jumping into a torrent of passion like these characters but i think it will give you much food for thought um and i wouldn't recommend it if i didn't really enjoy it and get something out of it so anyways that's my movie re review of empire of passion by the director oshima if you do watch it um i hope that you put down in the comments what you thought of it and my name's ryan freeman thank you for watching